I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. When John F. Kennedy said those bold words, we had no idea how to get to the moon or what we would find when we got there. We did not know what the uh, uh, composition of the moon was. We didn't know the physical state of that uh, of the surface, whether you would sink into dust or whether it was rock. A world-renowned astronomer named Gerard Kuiper established a lunar and planetary lab at the University of Arizona. The lab used telescopes in the mountains above Tucson to create maps that would help NASA land a man on the moon. He looked at the quality of existing maps of the moon and he realized they were lousy. The previous map of the moon was published in 1935. It was hand-drawn. It was not adequate to send astronauts to the moon. Kuiper also became the chief scientist for the Ranger program, an effort to send America's first spacecraft to the moon. The Ranger was a hard landing. Uh, well, it was an impact, basically. It just came zooming in, took pictures as it came down, and then, of course, was destroyed. By 1964, the first six Rangers had failed. Man landings were just five years away. United States spacecraft Ranger was on its way to the moon. Ten seconds to impact. Video still good. Excellent signal strength. Three, two, one. The groundwork laid by Kuiper's team helped clear the way for the biggest moment in human history. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I would say that Kuiper was probably the founder of uh, planetary science. Well, this is a very interesting uh, story. 